Well, now we've seen the value of using matrices, at least to use the Gauss-Jordan method of solving equations and so forth. So you can see the power of just looking at a list of numbers, just having those numbers there and manipulating them somehow. Well, now let's try to abstract that to the general idea of a matrix, which is just this array or this list of numbers. And now let's see how we can actually perform arithmetic on that whole list or that whole array at once. So the first thing we can talk about is how do you take two matrices and add them or subtract them? Well, in fact, your intuition here would be probably just right on the mark. Suppose I have two matrices and I want to combine them. Say I want to add them. Well, the first thing that is important to realize is that not all two matrices can be added together. They have to have the same dimensions, the same shape, in fact. For example, here you can see these two things can be added because they're both two by three. Right? Two rows, three columns. Two rows, three columns. But I could not, for example, add that matrix to this matrix. That's just impossible. There's no way for me to do that because they're just sort of different kinds of objects. There's no way to sort of put them together in a nice way. They sort of are fighting each other. But this is nice and smooth and silky. You can help but wanting to add them together. And in fact, the method for adding is probably exactly what you would guess. Namely, well, the answer is going to be another 2 by 3. Now, I'm going to have to write the answer. I apologize for this, but unless you have those really big monitors, this is not going to fit on the screen. So I'm going to put the answer way up here. But you can see that in my box over here, in fact, everything lines up perfectly. Anyway, this is going to be another 2 by 3. That's the answer. So a 2 by 3 plus a 2 by 3 gives me another 2 by 3. And what do you think goes in the first spot? Well, you just add the elements in the first spot. So that would be a 2 in this case. Here you'd add the elements in this spot, which would give you a 5. In the 1, 3 position, you'd add those elements and see a 1. Here you'd add and see a 1. Here you'd add and see a 7. And here you'd add and see a 5. So you just add the corresponding terms. That's why you see it's difficult to add these two things together. There are no corresponding terms. There's nothing that corresponds to sort of 1, 3, because there's no third thing here. So in fact, you can only add matrices that look the same. And then you just add the corresponding terms and get something else. Subtraction is, of course, the exact same deal. What would you do here? Well, subtraction, not a problem. You would still get a, in this case, 2 by 3 matrix. And you subtract. 1 minus 1 is 0. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Minus 1 minus 2 is minus 3. 0 minus 1 is minus 1. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. And 5 minus 0 is 5. Adding and subtracting matrices, no problem at all. Really easy. Just make sure that the dimensions of the matrices that you're adding or subtracting are the same. In this case, it's 2 by 3. This is 2 by 3. They can be combined. That takes care of that. Up next, we're going to take a look at multiplication, which will get a lot more interesting. I'll see you there.